beautiful friends welcome back or welcome my name is leanne if you don't know if you're new i'm happy to have you all here i am back with another haul from l3 waxy wonders i finally got my pre-order that i placed last september towards the end of september uh right before they left for their european vacation and some other ready to ship items that I have them hold to combine with my pre-order. It helps to save myself on shipping. But I'm so excited to go through this and share my whole entire order with you. I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going great for you for this day or for this week. Happy Wednesday. Uh, my package has arrived on Wednesday. Whew, so excited to finally dig in. Um, this is part of part of my September Palooza. So as they call as summer calls it, one of the last ones, I think. And after this. After this, I think I just only have Sastigla Aroma orders to wait on, and I do have one of them shipped, but enough about that. Let's talk about L3 Waxy Wonders. Um, so this is the pre-order from September. I have, it looks here that I have two invoices. I'm not going to show you my address, but uh, they do various notes like hold to ship. I'm, I, I'm so glad that um, this company are so good at combining orders or holding your orders to ship. Not all companies do that and I appreciate that L3 does that and they write notes here. I'm also glad that they include invoices so you get to double check to see what you ordered. Um, they are based in Junction City or Oregon. Jennifer Westing is the owner. Um, I'll have their details and information listed down in my description box down below. Um, the best way to stay in touch or to see updates or information for L3 Waxy Wonder is to join the Facebook group, which I will just have it linked down below. And I, it's one of my top five vendors is L3 Waxy Wonders. Their pricing I, is like on the affordable side and they also, not on top of that, on top of that they hold sales too, surprise sales, but if um, you're quick enough and you want to order something, they do hold sales and it's a pretty good percentage too of their sales. I see a spoonchula. Okay, enough about that. Let's get into my box and into my order, but I do have a lot of peanuts. I'm going to dump this all out. Or the most of it if I can. Okay, I am back. Oh, wow. This is just so satisfying to see once I dumped all those peanuts. You can tell that it's great, really greatly packaged. But this is so satisfying to see the order. It is so organized. The colors are vibrant and beautiful. Yeah, okay, let's see what I ordered here. I should probably pick up my invoice. Right here, I'm gonna set this one aside. Okay. Let's start off, start off that they do send with every order, with every package I received from L3 Waxy Wonders. They include some kind of treat or candy. Right now I have as a lollipop. Um, what flavor is this? Coke chocolate vanilla from Chupa Chups. Can't wait to share this with my children. Okay, um, I have another spoonchula here. And this one here is a beautiful maroon purple color. So perfect for the season right now. And when you do order their scoops, they include a free spoonchula with this so that's generous of them to do that and i appreciate that thank you jennifer thank you trish thank you team 
Uh, okay, let's go in. Um, I see a bag here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go through my samples really quickly. This beautiful bag. Oh, that's really. I admit that's really. Cute. I don't celebrate Halloween, but that is very cute. School. Okay. In here, I have cinnamon chai cheesecake. And it is a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. Again, I don't celebrate, but I appreciate and uh, the samples. And it's so cute. Mmm, cinnamon chai cheesecake. A little jack-o'-lantern. Okay, I'm getting like spicy. Chai. I'm not really for me detecting any like cheesecake notes, but it's very creamy. Chai spices is what I'm getting. Um, I had to shut off my warmer that I had going in my bedroom um, from lavender and speckles. It was pretty strong and I didn't want it to um, interact or interfere with me spelling this, but I mean... Um, yeah, so this one I get is like a creamy cinnamon spicy scent. This one here is uh, Christmas PJs, and this is a leaf. Ooh, I'm definitely getting some kind of laundry note here. Like some clean, freshly laundered scent. Um, but it's actually quite nice. It's not, I mean, it's light right now, but like a, not a heavy laundry scent, but it's there. Like I would say in between light to heavy, I would say it's like a medium strong of a laundry note. And that's mostly what I am getting. I don't know what else is in here. Maybe hint of trees. Mm, I don't know, but I like it. Mm, Christmas PJs. And lastly, I have is Don't Cross Streams. Um, don't know what shape this is. Maybe it's like a rocket ship. Maybe it's a tree. But, uh, let's... This is a beautiful bakery vanilla. Mmm, so yummy. <sighs> this is so good. Very creamy vanilla decadent bakery scent. Don't cross dreams. I appreciate these samples. Thank you, Elfie Waxy Wonders team. Love it. Okay. Um. Oh my. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna start with this, but uh, let's go over uh this this. I think this is a harvest cake, and this is so cute. I see a squirrel. Okay, so this is Overlook Hotel Wildberry. This is Cider Lane Toasted Marshmallow and Smoky Fireside. Overlook Hotel Wildberry. I love Wildberry scents. I love Cider Lane scents, but I think um, I think just recently she got the Bath and Body Works type Cider Lane. So this probably might not be the Bath and Body Works type, but wanted to try this. Um, I'm getting some kind of berry notes. That's mostly what I am getting is like a like a berry note here. I don't know what her cider lane consists of, but I'm getting a berry, maybe a hint of apple cider here. Not it's not too sweet, like caramel, like cider lane. But it's more like I'm getting like a berry with a hint of apple cider. So that is Overlook Hotel Wildberry. Probably gonna try and get that this year, melt it this year. I have here, it looks to be a two pack bunt. This is Blue Beard, Blue Sugar Pistachio, and Savy Bakery. So good. Mm, I'm getting the pistachio. That is so, so good. It's strong pistachio. Mmm. 
I'm so glad. I'm not really getting detecting blueberry, or not blueberry, but blue sugar. I'm getting like a really strong pistachio and like a cupcake scent. Like I'm getting pistachio cupcake. Not sure what her savory bakery is here, but this is strong on that pistachio. It's almost like a toasted pistachio even. And I love this blue beard. Definitely keep her a winner for me in my book. Something I'll probably repurchase. Here is the Haunted Mortuary. This is books, small fireside, blue sugar, tobacco. Again, all these scent notes I love. I love books. I love blue sugar, marshmallow fireside. So I wanted to try this cloud cake. The Haunted Mortuary. Yes, I'm definitely getting her books. Her book, her books oil stands out the most here. I'm not really getting um. Okay, yeah, I'm mostly getting probably books, the Mall of Fire, something creamy with the books. Maybe the Mall of Fire side and tobacco. But this is really good. Really glad to try this. And this is the Haunted Mortuary. Let me just close this guy right up. I love that one. This cloud cake is strawberry kolaches. It is sweet strawberry glaze, flaky buttery pastries. Strawberry kolaches. I love her strawberry kolaches. Um, I this is a repurchase. I haven't melted it, but I'm cold. It's like my most favorite, one of my favorite bakeries. Is you're getting, I'm getting like. That's strawberry. I love strawberry, strawberry bakery. I'm a big fan of. And then I'm getting like this like flaky, buttery. Mmm, this like flaky and buttery, crusty pastry. Mmm, so, so good. I think this is one of my favorite strawberries that she offers. Strawberry kolaches. I'm glad to have another one of that. This one here is, oh my gourd. This is oatmeal, raisin cookies, pumpkin, firewood. Today is October 3rd. All the scent notes definitely up my alley. Wanted to get, pick up a cloud cake of this. Okay, there is a little bit of a perfumey note in here. It's kind of strange. What I'm definitely getting is a pumpkin. A hint of perfume. Hmm. Pumpkin, pumpkin firewood. Today is October 3rd. Mostly getting is like a slight pumpkin. A little bit of like oatmeal. Not really getting today is October 3rd, but there's a lot going on here. I'm mostly getting is the oatmeal, raisin cookies, a little bit of hint of pumpkin. And there's like a little, like a little ever so hint of a perfumey note to my nose. Uh, have any of you picked this one up? Please tell me what you got. Did you sniff? I got a little bit of perfume. Okay. I see here is a two pack. Fluted Tarts. This is Mac Apple, Salty Sea Air, Cotton Candy, and Driftwood. So, um, one of the moderators, Sweet Tam Carr, um, she made a blend and I missed out on it completely. It was offered in a, uh, what's it called? A big loaf. It was a basic Betty loaf and that was too much wax for me, but I saw something similar offered which had Mac Apple, um, Salty Sea Air, Cotton Candy, and I wanted to try this. Very similar to the other blend custom that she created that I totally passed up on and missed it. But I heard it was so wonderful. So this is very similar. Oh, this is good. Mmm, that Mac Apple is good. Mostly getting as like an apple, but there's like something different about the apple. It's like fresh. A little salty ocean air. 
So I'm getting like a fresh Mac Apple scent. I am so glad to pick this one up. It is so good. Mmm, Mac Apple Salty Sea Air Cotton Candy and Driftwood. So if you like apple and uh, ocean salty sea air, I would recommend that. Okay, I see here are some some uh, Bitty Betty Lows. This is Silent Night. This is Fresh Snow, Sweet Lavender, and Sugared Spruce. Love all these notes. I had to try it. So all of these are new to me unless I told, unless I say like it's a repurchase. For the most part, these are all new to me. This is so, so good. Getting tree. Like a, like a sweet tree. Maybe like a sweet lavender. Yeah, I'm definitely getting sweet lavender. And I don't know what's her fresh snow. But there's something cooling and slightly minty about it. I love this one so much. Silent Night. Love it. This one is The Pit. This is Bonfire Bliss, Graham Crackers, Mauve Fluff, Smoked Vanilla. Um, I think one of the girls, L3, um, Jenny. I think, yeah, Jenny. Um, this is one of her custom blends. And I really wanted to try this. Sounded good with the graham crackers, bonfire bliss. Okay, this is a little light. But I'm getting a hint, ever so hint of a graham cracker. Maybe smoked vanilla. Like there's something a little smoky. Almost a little perfumey too. Like a perfumey vanilla scent. Um, but it is a little light. I'm going to let that cure. Let them hang out for a bit. And I see lastly here for my bitty buddies is cookies under the tree. This is candy canes. Fraser fur, sugar cookies, and sugar... Alright, what's this? Gingerbread. Gingerbread. Cookies under the tree. Oh, so lovely. Definitely something I would enjoy. I love trees. I love cookies. I love, I love the mints. Yes, this is, I love it. So this is like, interesting. Oh, it's the gingerbread note. So, I get tree, I get like slightly minty sweet mint from the candy canes. A little bit, I'm getting a little bakery with the sugar cookie, but the gingerbread is actually adding something different to this. It's like a, like all those notes, like typical of like sugar cookies, of tree and mint, but the gingerbread adds a little bit like a, like a spicy molassy note to this. But I love it. That is so, so good. Glad to try this. So it's a slightly spicy but molassy take on those scents. And I love that a lot. Okay, uh, let's go over my samplers here. She includes this in the nice bag here. And um, I think this one here is the leaves sampler. Let me just double check here on my notes on this invoice. Oh yes, it is the leaves sampler. I love leaves and this is one of her most best-selling samplers of all time is her leaves sampler. So I couldn't pass it up. I wanted to try this. So first one here is the Season of the Witch. This is apples and leaves. This is actually one of her also popular scents, Season of the Witch. Oh no, this is so hard to open. Okay, there you go. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm mostly getting apples. It's like fresh apples with the leaves going on in the background. Mmm, it's like a very fresh autumn air apples. That is really good, Season of the Witch. Oregon Autumn. Lo I've, I've recently discovered this blend. I mean, it's been around forever, I think, but I really like this. This is crisp, clean, and fresh fallen leaves with a hint of rain. I love this so, so much. It's fresh. Like her rain is so beautiful. It's like a fresh, clean, aquatic note. I'm not really getting leaves. I'm mostly getting is that beautiful, fresh, aquatic, clean rain scent. And I love that so much. Oregon Autumn. Mike Myers. This is Welcome Home. The Mikey Cinnamon Sugar Cookies. Caramel Apples and Leaves. Mike Myers. So uh, this is tricky to open because um, it's kind of filled. It fits really well into the back. This is really good. I'm getting a bakery with this. I'm getting the caramel apples, but it's a spicy caramel apple scent. And a hint of bakery. I love that so much. This is a spicy caramel apple bakery scent to my nose. This one is Drums of Autumn. This is Fallen Leaves, Flaky Pie Crust, and Bakery Bomb. Drums of Autumn. This is Super Bakery. I'm getting like a savory bread, savory bread bakery here. And it's slightly spicy. Yeah, I'm getting like pie crust. It's like that. It's almost Play-Doh to my nose, but it's like this bakery note. Savory bakery, vanilla. I'm not really getting too much of the fallen leaves. But that's pretty good. There's something, a hint of spiciness to this. So there's Drums of Autumn. This one is Butcher Knife. This is Graham Crackers Pumpkin Toasted Mallow Leaves. Butcher Knife. See what this smells like. Goodness. Okay, there I go. Mm, this is gorgeous. Yeah, a hint of bakery here. The graham crackers, is that what it is? Graham crackers. Ever so hint of pumpkin. But it's definitely bakery to my nose and then a hint of leaves. Butcher knife. <clears throat> Leviosa. I have this in a sample and I, uh, I very much enjoy this one. This is apple cider leaves and spice. Leviosa. This is a good one. Yeah, it's like beautiful apple cider leaves. This is spicy. Mm, this is good. Leviosa. So I'm getting like a spicy apple cider. This one is hand shot first. This is Cider Lane Fresh Baked Bread and Leaves. Ooh. Hand shot first. This is a little light. <sighs> I'm getting like leaves. There's something spicy about this, like spicy cinnamon, leaves. Cider Lane, fresh, fresh big bread. Yeah, not really. I'm mostly getting like a very spicy cinnamon leaves scent. And this last one here is Graveyard. This is Lee's Toasted Malo Granny Smith Apples, the famous graveyard. Excited to have a bunch of this because uh, this is my first time sniffing this. I'm excited. Oh, yes, this is beautiful. 
getting like a creamy apple with leaves in the background. Mm, this is a very creamy apple and I love that so much. You can see why this is popular. Graveyard. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put this back in its baggie. I'm literally balancing this box off my lap here. And I'm um, feeling a little bit, I'm feeling it a bit on my, my calves because I'm, my ankle is like this because I'm short. Well, whatever. Okay, let's go on to trip tarts. This is hay. Finally, get to try hay. This is Ashley Overly's favorite scent. And I noticed I like earthy scents. And so this one, um, wanted to try it. Uh, Ashley Overly, a uh, YouTuber, but she's also a moderator in L3 Waxy Wonders. So if you have any questions, you can also go to her to ask her questions. Oh, I'm so glad I picked this one up. Mmm, it's like a spicy, like a dried grass here. This would be a great blender. And I'm glad to have gotten this. Um, yes, I got, got two of these trick tarts, these beauties. It is a vibrant yellow too. Lovely color. Oh, I should have been putting it this side actually. Okay. Next one here, um, I got All Is Calm. I got two of these, All Is Calm. And this is Sweet Lavender, Twisted Peppermint, and Mahogany Teakwood. Um, wow, there's like a bunch of like little speckled trees on here. It's beautiful. Oh, this is so, tr this is strong on the tree. And I'm getting like herbal lavender. Herbal lavender, well, this says sweet lavender, but a little herbally to my nose. I'm getting tree. Mahogany teakwood, okay. Yeah, so there's a little something a little masculine about this mahogany teak wood. I'm getting slight minty notes off of this. Mm. And um, a bit of a herbal herbal lavender. I like this. This is different than what I have. I'm so cute. Okay. Lavender frost. Not sure how many I grabbed of this. I grabbed two of these. You can see my other one. And this one here is. Oh, let me just show you how beautiful her trick tarts for this pre order. She made it glittery and special. This is so, so beautiful. This one is lavender, Christmas trees, vanilla bean, Noel, sugar cookie, and toasted malo. I am so happy that I placed this order even though I didn't need any more wax just so beautiful this is gorgeous oh this, I'm getting bakery here yeah sugar cookie and vanilla bean oil and toasted malo this is very bakery like a creamy vanilla bakery and I'm getting like a hint of tree this is so good Getting a hint of lavender, it's not so prominent, and then tree, and then the bakery just hits me. So it's like, I think it's like equally blended, like half, a little over half bakery, and then tree, and then lavender. So, so glad. I feel, these feel so special. Just, oh, okay, this one here um, is Boozy Grandma. This is sugar cookie buttered rum espresso. Oh man, this is so beautiful, so cute. She's having pre-order um, extras coming this Friday. So if you wanted to try out her tricks or any of these, um, yeah, definitely check that out this Friday. Hmm, buttered rum and espresso and sugar cookie. I don't know what to make of this. This is so well blended, but I'm definitely getting it's like a sugar cookie note on top. I'm getting buttered rum. It's like buttery, little rummy. I'm not really getting much of the espresso, but that's this is good. I like it. It's a different, it's a unique to me, and I wanted to try it. So this is Boozy Grandma. 
This one is Palo Santo. I knew I grabbed like four of these. Let me just fish them out for you. I grabbed four of these. I am obsessed with L3 Waxy Wonders Palo Santo. It's so good. I love, I fell in love with her. Today is October 3rd. And so when she offered Palo Santo, I grabbed four of these. It's her, it's beautiful. It's like a, it's woodsy. It's creamy. Mmm. Definitely can use this to blend with other, other things. But I, I typically, I really like it with bakery. Oh, it's just such a smooth, woodsy scent. I really love this. I'm glad to get four. She has my favorite Palo Santo. Um, okay, I still have more trick tarts here. Today, oh, this is pumpkin crunch cake. Um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about this one, and I wanted to try it. Oh, this is not heavy on a pumpkin, not heavy on a spice. This is caramelly even to my nose. I'm getting like a caramel pumpkin scent and bakery. This is like decadent. This is heavy. This is caramelly. This is good. I like that one. I really like it. This one here, I had to get another one of. This is Honey Pear Cider Hot Buttered Rum. I really liked it in my last order, but she still offered it in our RTS. I had to pick one more up. Yeah, I'm getting um, apple cider, honey apple cider. Mm, and a hint of hot buttered rum. It's just like, it's just a, oh, this is so good. This is like a creamy honey, not creamy, but a little buttery, rummy honey apple cider scent is so good oh i still have more trick tarts here this one is dulce pumpkin this is a repurchase i i liked it in my my last order oh this is like a creamy pumpkin it's not really spicy pumpkin i'm getting a little bit of coconut too and this one here is blueberry pumpkin patch bbw type i missed out on the scoops and she um she had like very low stock of this offered and I wanted to grab one of these because I fell in love with um, oh, the sample that I got in my last order. Beautiful. Uh, I'm not typical of blueberry scents. I don't really find them. I'm really particular with it and I like this one here. It's a very savory blueberry scent. I'm getting like pumpkin and like blueberry but it's not so sweet and that's how I like it. And that's how I love it, actually. I love blueberry, like savory blueberries. Uh, I grabbed a bougie bar of Oregon Autumn. I love this scent. So beautiful. So clean. This is so soothing, clean, like a rain scent. Oh, this is the most beautiful rain scent I've, I've smelled so far. This says... A hint of rain, that's what I'm mostly getting, is like this crisp, clean rain scent, and I love it. Uh, today is October 3rd, uh, one of my favorites that she's offered. This is a beautiful bar. I'm getting, this looks like a uh, black and brownish color. This is beautiful. Um, so today is October 3rd, is Palo Santo, Toasted Molo, Sugar Cookie Royale. Yeah, it's like, it's like a cookie Palo Santo. It's really good. So, so good. Okay, lastly here I have are my scoops. Okay, gotta set that one down. Um, let me just double check on time here. Okay, I'm back with, but this time we're gonna go over my scoops portion. I don't have a lot of time. I only have like 10 minutes to get through all of this because I have to cook dinner. Pick up my kids and take them to karate. <laughs> All right, okay, first one here. Boom Boom Copper Coconut Shade and Santal. This is a repurchase because I fell in love with it in my last order. Uh, lid is slightly open, but I hope that doesn't. Okay, yeah, I can smell it. I'm getting like a coconut tr tropical scent. 
and Boom Boom is not too prominent, but I really like the coconut tropical scent of this. That's what I liked about it. And that's Boom Boom Copper um, Coconut Shea and Santal. Santal. I gotta, sh I gotta show you this. This is so aesthetically pleasing. Look how they package this. Like, like that, like pattern with the lids and the scoops like that. Ah, so beautiful. Okay. okay, let's see. This is Vanilla Balsam Cinnamon Sugar Mollifier Set. I'm so excited about these scoops. A lot of them were like winter scoops and I, I love my winter scents. This is new. Mmm, Vanilla Balsam. I'm getting tree, like a vanilla tree. I'm getting cinnamon sugar. Not really getting mollifier side, but mm, this is so beautiful. Vanilla balsam, cinnamon sugar. This is magical. It's perfect for the holidays. Um, mollifier side. Beautiful blend. This one is vanilla patchouli, pumpkin, pecan, waffle, sugar cookie, royale. Excited to try this because uh, Tam Carr, another moderator on um, L3, has been loving this vanilla patchouli pumpkin pecan combo and I wanted to see I was curious about it so I wanted to try it okay it's really light on cold mm. vanilla patchouli let me see it's really light oh I'm getting like this sweet I don't know what I'm getting. This is so weird, but I love it. I'm getting like a uh, vanilla bakery, like a sweet vanilla bakery. I don't think I'm getting patchouli. I'm not sure, but it's like a very sweet vanilla bakery. And there's like something a little different about it. I really like that. I accidentally grabbed um, another scoop of that on accident. Um, Yeah, here it is. But I'm glad because I actually enjoy that a lot. This one here is buttery gingerbread. Just plain old buttery gingerbread. I love this so much. I'm getting buttery gingerbread cookie. Like it's a spicy gingerbread. But there's like hint of molasses here. And it's so buttery, so rich cookie. I love that. Thank you for this offering the scoops. I grabbed two of those. So I am ready for winter. Um, this one is buttermint, peppermint, rosemary mint. Um, I fell in love with the scoop that I had and I only had one of these and she offered it for the pre-order, was it? Yeah, the pre-order and oh yes, I had to grab it. Um, so it's minty, like a mix of rosemary mint and peppermint. This is really good. I really love it. It's a creamy peppermint. I love minty scents. This one is Coconut Leaves Palo Santo Smoked Vanilla Cocoa Butter Cashmere. This is a repurchase for my last order. I fell in love with this scent. So glad that was still on a website. This is like a... Mm, this is like a tropical shampoo scent. So clean. There's a hint of coconut. So gorgeous. I can't really describe this really well, but I'm getting like a tropical, beautiful tropical shampoo scent. This one is Cranberry Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale. I also picked this up because of Tam. Thank you, Tam. Finally got my hands on it. So let me see how, oh no, the lid is a little cracked too. Oh no. It's cracked. Maybe that's the downside of storing it upside down. Okay, let's see. Wow, this is so good. Okay, cranberry. This is strong on cold already. I'm getting cranberry, and then it's strong, and like a creamy cranberry with the with the sugar cookie royale. This is really good. I'm so glad Tam has talked about this because I love it. But my lid has arrived cracked. Oh no. I don't know if L3 will send me replacement lids. I'm not sure. 
we'll see what I can do about that. Okay, lid here is good. This is pumpkin, apple, mala, fireside, golden grams. I love pumpkin and apple together. I wanted to try this. Wow, this is good too. I'm getting like the pumpkin. I'm getting like hints of pumpkin and apple. And then like graham crackers. This is really good. I'm so glad to pick this one up. I don't know if I grabbed two of these. That was, that is really good. I really like that one. This one is Cabin in the Woods, Mala Fireside Earl Grey Tea and Vanilla Buttercream. I love Earl Grey Tea, Mala Fireside, all these notes. I wanted to try this. I love how they come with like these, um, these things here. Hmm. I'm getting like a perfume, a perfumey tea note here. Perfumey tea. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm getting mostly is a perfumey Earl Grey tea. Maybe, maybe the smokiness might come out on cold. I don't know, but I'm pretty much just getting that Earl Grey tea and it's like perfumey. Oh yes, I grabbed another pumpkin apple, Mala Farside and Golden Grams. I really like that one. I put a spell on you. Okay, this is cinnamon sugar, not spicy cinnamon, French baguettes with our top secret bakery bomb blend. I can't wait to try this. This is my first time sniffing this. Mmm, this is good. Getting like a very, very yummy cinnamon sh sugar scent. This is super good. I am glad to try that. Mmm, delicious. So yummy. Vanilla chestnut hazelnut coffee sugar cookie royale. Mmm, I'm definitely getting the coffee here. The vanilla hazelnut coffee is beautiful. Mmm, that is so good. I'm mostly getting is the coffee. I'm not really getting sugar cookie royale, but that's really good coffee. Cake topper. White fluffy wedding cake with strawberry jam filling and buttercream frosting. Definitely something I wanted to try. Cake topper. Mmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting her strawberry jam and I love her strawberry jam. Mmm, this is so good. Strawberry jam with like her cake here. Really nice. I'm glad to try that. That was like a wild card from all this wintery scents. Mm, another Cranberry Apollo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale. This one is another I Put a Spell on You. This is a yummy, very so delicious bakery. Oh, oh, look, take a look at this one. This little guy has floated. This one is Pumpkin Crunch Cake Wildberry Mousse Cream Cheese. I wanted to try this because of Tam. And my scoop has definitely traveled a little bit. Okay, let's see if I can push it down. Or I'm giving it a bit of a tap. And it's starting to, starting to go down now. I uh, can't wait to try this. Mmm, this is super good. This reminds me of like in the same realm as like blueberry pumpkin. But I'm getting wallberry pumpkin. <sighs> the most delicious pumpkin bakery. Pumpkin crunch cake? That's really good. It's not like a spicy pumpkin. It's like a crunchy, it's like crunchy bits on like pumpkin bakery and then that wallberry mousse Cream cheese, delicious, delicious. Thank you, Tam. I was like, I saw one of her orders. She had that, and that sounded, that looks so good. I'm so glad to have another one. Oh, such a great scent. Diagon Alley. This is marshmallow fireside and graham crackers. This is new to me. Diagon Alley. I'm excited because I think this is a Harry Potter inspired. I could be wrong. If I am, please correct me. Oh, this is so good. Mm, I don't know why, but this is reminding me of her today is October 3rd. I'm getting like, like a woodsy. 
I'm getting woodsy note here. Like Palo Santo? I don't know, maybe it's the combination of graham crackers and marshmallow fireside that makes it like... This is reminding me of like today's October 3rd. I'm not really getting graham crackers or marshmallow fireside. I don't know. Has any of you tried this before? I really love it. Nonetheless, I really love this one. Diagon Alley. This one is pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla butter fudge, espresso. Candice has been talking about this and I wanted to try this. She really loved this one. Mm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting her espresso. It's there. It's like a, like a decadent. The vanilla butter fudge is adding that like heavy, super rich um, bakery sweetness to this. I'm not really getting pumpkin pecan waffles. Her espresso really stands out the most here with the vanilla butter fudge. This is really good. I'm glad to try this. I accidentally ordered two of those and I'm glad to because I like it a lot. So this is the second one. And uh, this is my second buttermint, peppermint, rosemary mint. Love this one. And then here is Winter Nights. This is cardamom tea, crackling fire, wood fire, and coziness. I really wanted to try this. Send us something I would like. And it's, I love it so, so much. I'm getting the cardamom tea. And that's just so scrumptious to me. It's like... It's like a smoky, uh, like, bakery spice to my nose. Like, I'm getting, like, a smoky bakery spice here. Oh, man. The crackling wood fire and coziness. Yeah, I'm not getting, like, the hickory, like, smoke, like, beef jerky. This is, like, I'm getting the crackling, like, it's the wood fire and it's, like, crackling a little bit. That's what I'm getting. And then the, the cardamom tea. Ah, oh, this is such a beautiful combo. Winter nights. I love that one. Okay, that's it for my L3 Waxy Wonders haul. And I I pretty much loved a lot of these. I love winter nights. And I love this one so so much. Pumpkin crunch cake, wildberry mousse, cream cheese. Um I really liked her uh butter mint. Her minty ones. Um, I really like is her honey pear cider hot buttered rum. Um, uh, I really liked her Oregon Autumn. And she has like the best Palo Santo in my opinion. I mean, one of my favorites. I mean, I love Palo Santo, but I, I, I like Jennifer's. Very creamy, woodsy note here. It's not so cologne-y. Glad to have that. Loving her pumpkin. I love this one too. I put a spell on you. It's such a great cinnamon, sugar, bakery scent. I love that so, so much. And, um, oh yeah, her... Her trick tarts, her holidays trick tarts. I loved lavender frost a lot. And then this one is such a, this is the most gorgeous trick tart I have. I hope would you bar in today is October 3rd. And yeah, um, I really like most of my order actually. I love Silent Nights and I really like these two. Silent Nights and Cookies Under the Tree. Her strawberry kolaches. The strawberry kolaches too. I really like that. Okay. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was super long, but like with all my L3 videos, they tend to be on the longer side because I my orders once it finally arrives, it's like combined orders and like it's just so long. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate that and um, I had fun hanging out with all of you, sharing my entire L3 Waxy Wonders haul from you. This is the last of my L3 Waxy Wonders haul for this year, I believe. And I hope you're having a wonderful day, weekend, or night, or rest of the week. And I hope you take care. I hope to see you soon. Bye.